I think part of the problem is a lot of you know I do this in my own life. You know, I just use um, I I just use whatever format you know works with what I'm using and the product I'm using. If it's a digital camera and um, it's just taking JPEGs, which is a you know slightly more lossy uh, quality photograph than than a TIFF file is. Um, it's just convenient. You know, I've got this this tool, the camera. I take my pictures. It seems to work. I can download them to my computer and I can upload them to Flickr and share them with family. I don't really necessarily think about it a lot. And the you know sort of the commercial industry doesn't want necessarily want to provide uh, guidance or they're not really interested as much in long-term preservation. So I don't know that you know you'll get those kind of resources that'll you know lead you in those directions. But libraries and archives are really thinking a lot about these issues because we're acquiring this kind of material. We're acquiring tomorrow's history in digital form and we're trying to make it last as long as we've made paper last so far. So we are thinking about you know the files people use and we're trying to get out there and give them guidance on on how to think about some of these things in advance when they're creating uh, digital objects. In fact, a, now that I mentioned it, a great resource is uh, the Library of Congress. They have a personal archiving website and they just do a lot of outreach on personal archiving of different types of files. Um, everything from photographs to home movies, uh, you know, the, the sort of shoebox type things that people you know, have kept in families uh, for, for generations. You know, they're trying to provide guidance on how to do that when all that is digital.